Get ready to have the most fun you've had with your kids in a long, long time. Every month, we do a picture book inspired unit complete with a science experiment, math and reading games, sensory bins, and an art project. This month, we're all about space, inspired by Jimmy Zangwao's Moon Pie Adventure. And today, we're making planet art. I'm Brandy, and I'm the mom behind Aunt Bendy's bookshelf. I am a mom of two with years of experience both in the classroom and as a part-time homeschool mom, and I'm here to use all that experience to help you as you help your kids learn and grow. All right, here's what you're going to need for this project. Some kind of paper. You can use cardstock, you can use watercolor paper, you can use leftover cereal boxes or leftover cardboard. It doesn't matter. You just want something a little bit thicker so it doesn't ripple when we get paint all over it. Uh, you're going to need paint, tempera, acrylic, whatever you have on hand, paint brushes, a paint palette, just basic painting stuff. You're going to need some spray bottles and squirt bottles. Now I got mine from the dollar store, but if you want to be great, use this as a recycling project, look around your house and see what you have. I am talking ketchup bottles, mustard bottles, um, anything with a squirter random spray bottles from like maybe Windex. Now make sure that you clean them out really, really well, especially if you're using chemicals, you don't want to mess with, um, you don't want chemicals messing around with your paint in there. So clean it out really well before you use it or just get new ones from the dollar store, whichever you prefer. Some black cardstock if you want to mount your planets rather than hanging them. Some random circular objects. I have some, uh, painter's tape. I have a lid to a jar. We're going to use those to trace for our planet. So anything that you have that's circular will be great. And then you'll also need a smock because this is going to get super messy and some fishing wire or uh, thread if you want to hang your planets. This project has a couple parts and don't be afraid to split it up over a couple days if you want. Kids sometimes get bored with a multi-step project. There is nothing wrong with making it into several different mini projects. First thing we're gonna do, paint the cardstock. This is quick and easy. Just plop some paint and brushes down and spread the love. This is a fabulous centerline crossing activity for kids and is great for working their brains. Now, just let these dry. While the cardstock sheets are drying, we get to do the fun part. We are going to fill all of our bottles, spray and squirt with paint. Here's what you do. Take your paint, acrylic, tempera, whatever you have, and put it in the bottles. I like to put in a ratio of about three parts paint to one part water. So go ahead and put your paint in the bottles, add in about a third as much water as you put in paint. It's not rocket science, doesn't need to be exact. There's no way to mess this up and then give it a good shake. Shake it up and you are ready to go. Now we're gonna lay out our cardstock. I laid mine out on an old shower curtain just to minimize the paint casualties. If you don't mind painted grass, you can just drop the sheets right on the grass. Let's get to the good part. Pump some tunes, have a little dance party and spray and squirt away. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Just get the paint on the paper. Once your masterpieces feel complete, set them aside to dry for a couple days. And this is what we have when they dry. Now we can make our planets. After tracing, we need to cut out our planets. If you have kids that are working on perfecting their cutting, this is a great chance to practice. If you have kids that aren't quite ready for scissors, you can do the cutting. And here are our planets. We have a couple options now that our planets are done. We can attach some fishing line to the planets and hang them mobile style. My kids had a space themed room for years. Wouldn't those have been awesome in it? If you'd rather make a picture for the wall, you can take a few panels and glue them to black cardstock. I took some gold paint and splattered my cardstock to look a little bit like stars in the sky. Glue them wherever you want and look how beautiful that is. It was easy, fun, and just a little bit messy. That's all the hallmarks of a great art project. If you had fun, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We do a new art project based on a picture book every single month. And while you're waiting, go ahead and check out some of my other art projects. I'll link them here.